gonna be a quick lesson on how we can get data from a sheet, create a doc, and add that data coming from the spreadsheet into a Google Doc. So it's all coming up in this lesson. Go ahead and log into your Google account. And once you've logged in, you can either go to script.google.com or within your drive. And when you select the new, go down to more and there's Google Apps Scripts. So this is a way you can create a standalone project. So go ahead and create the project, give the project a name. So this project is gonna be taking data from a sheet and sending it over into a doc as a table. So we're gonna be creating a brand new doc. So we can go ahead and we can have it as a function. And what we need to do first is we need to create a sheet and then we also need to create a doc. So going into the drive and this is gonna be the sheet that we're gonna be using the data from. So just give it a name of data sheet one. And then here you can populate in some information which we're gonna be selecting and adding in, creating a brand new doc with this data. So it actually, it's gonna be flexible, so it'll pick up whatever data is available. So for this example, I'm gonna keep it fairly simple and just have a little bit of data that we're gonna be working. Within the script, you're gonna need the source document. So go ahead and select that source document. And we can keep that sheet data globally as a variable named sheet ID. So this will allow us to reference the sheet ID from any one of the functions. And with the first function, what it's gonna do is it's gonna connect to the sheet and it's gonna get the values within the first three columns there of the sheet. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a selection of the sheet. So place it within a spreadsheet object and using the spreadsheet app service and then open by ID. So we're gonna be specifying the ID. So this is the global sheet ID. So this will select the sheet object and you can see the sheet object when you log it out within the global log. So let's go ahead and we're gonna run the get values. So just at the top here in the short menu select run and get values in order to select the spreadsheet object. And the first time you run it, it is gonna ask for you for permissions. So go through the permissions screens, select the account that you're using under advanced, go to the sheet that you're working with, the Google script that you're working with. These are the permissions that are accepting. If you select Google account, it'll bring you to myaccount.google.com forward slash permissions, where you can also remove permissions from every Google script that you've set it to. Make sure also that the sheet does have permissions. So I did create in a separate account. So I'm adding in my current account and we're gonna try to run the script again. So when you do encounter these type of issues, this is generally an issue that you don't have permissions to the sheet. So you need to be added at least as an editor on the sheet. So run that again. And now we've got the spreadsheet object. So what we wanna do is we want to select the sheet so from the set spreadsheet object, so we're gonna select all of the sheets and then return back the first item within the sheet object. So that will give us the first sheet in order that we can work with it. Run the script, check within the logs, make sure that you are getting the value of sheet within the logs. And that means that you've selected the first spreadsheet. We wanna select all of the sheet data so selecting the sheet that was just selected. And if you use the get data range, this is gonna return back the array object of the data. And that means that you're gonna be able to work with that content. So there's the range of data. And then you can return back the sheet content. So then this can be range and we'll create another variable for data. And so we've got the range and if you use the get values, it's gonna return it back as an array. So this is gonna be a usable object that you can use within your script in order to select out the contents that are available. So that's how you can get the data that's contained within a spreadsheet within an array object. Create a second function. And what this function is gonna do is it's gonna create 
a dock with a table. So give it a name of create table dock. And what we want to do is create a brand new document using the document app service and then create the document and the name of the document that we want to create. And let's give it a name of doc one. So running the create table doc is going to create a brand new document. And that's going to create it on the root of the drive. Of course, we have to accept permissions once again for the script, as we've got a new set of permissions that are added. If you go over to drive, you see that we've created a brand new document. Go back to the sheet and create a global value. And then we want to select the body contents of the document in order to update the doc. So let's do this where we're going to create a new update doc function. And the way that this function will work is it's going to update the doc with the sheet data. So for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to select the document that we're going to be using. And that's going to be the same one that we just created. So using the document app, and then we've got the open by ID, and we do have a doc ID. In order to make sure that we properly were able to select a document, we can log into the logger log the document. So you can now run the code for the update doc. And this provides us the document within the object area. And if we wanted to get the body and in order to write to the content, we do need to have the body of the document. So we're selecting the document and then using the get body, which is going to return back the body for the selected document. And then you can also select that and output it into the log just to make sure that you've got the document body section selected. Now, if this is going to be a new value, what I'm going to do, I'm going to update this where we're going to be returning back the data. So get values one is going to return back an array of the data. And this is going to be the data that we want to insert into the document. So once we've selected the body, we want to get the cell values that we want to use in order to populate the object information. So we can do a get bot get values one. And then for the body object, let's do an append table and append the table of the cells. So this is expecting an array of the cell values that we're placing within the document. So there you get the table that's being constructed. And that's added in directly within the sheet. And that's coming from, that's added into the document. And that's with information from coming from the sheet. So it's not tied together with it. But if you do create and update the sheet contents, and then when you run the code again, it's going to create a new table with the new set of data added into the Google Doc. And you can also create a brand new doc, just as we created the doc. So once you have the values, you can then create and select the body and then append the body with the cell data. So you can also shorten this and chain it together. So you can do where you've got the values, so you don't have to use the cells. You can also select the document app, open by ID, and then get the body and then append the table. So you can do that within one statement. And this is going to run the same code as we were just doing. So selecting that, it's going to get the body value. So it's going to be the same as body. And then here we can just append the table with the values. And save that and you can update the doc. And that's going to work the same way. So you can do that within the one statement. Or you could do it in multiple lines. So go ahead and try it out for yourself to get more familiar with what you can do with Google Apps Script.